It's hard to believe a Travis County woman survived a barrage of gunfire that killed two others. But 19 months later, she got a special gift today. A chance to meet the people who helped save her life. KX Angelissa Gord was there. Jacqueline Burden is recovering very well after taking bullets to her head and her arm. Initially, she was paralyzed on the left side of her body, but now she is walking and starting to use her hands again. She wanted to set the record straight. She was 22 when it happened at the house she was renting from Susan Gulla O'Leary, one of the people killed. Randall Burroughs, or Randy as she called him, had been at her house doing contract work that week. Susan wasn't happy with the work that he did. That's when Jacqueline said Randy pulled a gun out of his car and killed Susan and her boyfriend. Then he chased Jacqueline and shot her twice. A lot of times you have your apartment complex or your landlord say, hey, you have a maintenance person come into your house at this date and time. And a lot of people just accept that, like that's just how it is. They're allowed to do that. But I want the public to know that you have a right to your safety and you have a right to ask questions. It's been a long recovery. Today, she got to meet the first responders who saved her. They were amazed with how well she was doing since they saw her in the hospital. There's so many people that have touched my lives in so many ways. I would tell them thank you so much. And, and I feel like they don't get thanked enough. This all gave Jacqueline a chance to ask questions to first responders, helping to fill in some of the gaps in her memories about what happened that day. Jacqueline says this experience has given her a sense of purpose. Now she's interested in starting a disability equipment company. At the Travis County Sheriff's Office, I'm Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And the shooting happened on Whitebead Trail. That's west of Austin in the Apache Shores neighborhood. The suspect in that double murder was 54-year-old Randall Lee Burroughs. He killed himself during a standoff with the Missouri Highway Patrol, essentially closing that case.